So my name is Kevin Cal Callagher. I'm the editorial cartoonist for the Baltimore Sun and the Economist magazine in London. Most people know me by my signature Cal, and I am here to talk about some pieces uh, here in the collection of the MIA which grab my attention, and I'm going to tell you why. Of all my finished artwork, and I've published 8,000 cartoons, I've probably created 20,000 sketches, maybe more. Most of your time as an artist is spent preparing for your final piece of artwork. So for me, when as an artist, the thing that I find so compelling is seeing other artists' sketches. Their, their foundations, you can crawl into their brains, see what's going on, the decisions and choices they're making. Because often when you go to a museum and you see the spectacular finished artwork, you look at it in awe and say, how could that possibly happen? But if you see the sketches, they seem like they're more human. They seem like a real person did this, particularly when you see their mistakes. Their mistakes are the best bits to watch. So um, I saw this piece and uh, it's a large sketch. I, I have to admit, I don't know who created it, um, what the subject matter is, but I was drawn by the, um, the dynamism and the energy that's put into the actual sketches and drawing. You can see there's actually some pencil lines underneath it, ink laid on top of it. And here in the pencil lines, you get to see him experimenting with the hand in different places and different positions. The reason why I find this compelling is that this is so familiar to me. My sketches are the same, is that you are experimenting and people think you're drawing, and of course you are drawing, but you're also building. You're building a, a body and building a set as if you were um, on theater and stage and you're trying to create the depth and the spaces and where everything goes and the people have to be sitting on pieces of furniture or on, on, on top of shelves and that sort of thing. So I could see the artist here, first of all, trying to create a nice space then within it dropping the characters. A perfect example of the building is right here in the leg because he's got clothing that's going over the top of it. And I'm sure in the final, he didn't show the leg underneath it. But when you draw any clothing on a, on a person, you have to understand where the body is underneath it in order to make sure that the fold fold and fall in a certain way. So in this case, he does what so many people art do is that they create the actual body first, then they lay the clothes on top of it, and then that makes everything fall properly. There are so many small and fine uh, details as well, um, and almost playing. You can see, see the artist you know, goofing around almost as, as they're trying to make this whole thing work. Then when you get into here, this looks like a complete mess, complete mess. But in here, you can see, if you look carefully, you see the, the, the foundations of other characters and bodies being, being built. If you are the, the artist, you see the things that you're drawing amongst that clutter. There's clutter all around your sketch, but you're focusing in on that little place because you're just preparing yourself for the next iteration of, of, of the piece. So when I see something like this happen, I'm seeing a long process um, of distillation of, of the complex things that they're trying to achieve. I'm seeing it done still very elegantly in this, um, in this rough, as we would call it um, today. Before you even know what's going on here, you get a feeling of a kind of a, 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 of a swirl of activity here that is, but it's exciting. It's not like chaotic. It feels exciting. You can see that just a, there's these visual clues and cues that they, that they take you on a roller coaster ride around the whole piece, which is very exciting. And, and one of the things when you're a good artist is that you're taking the viewer's eye on a ride under your control and they don't even know it. And that's what's really cool. But it takes a long time to plan that out in order to try to make sure that it's working the way that you want it to work.